Hi there, it's Scott with Seaman Custom Builds. Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to assemble a sliding barn door using three quarter inch MDF, pine tongue and groove paneling, and one by poplar trim. Stay tuned and I hope this helps you in your future projects. The first step was to rip the MDF to the proper width. This door is going to be 36 inches wide by 7 feet tall. I made my cut at 34 and a half inches accounting for the one by poplar material that will be used to wrap the door. I now put it up on my saw horses to make it easier to work on and mark the center line where the paneling pieces will meet to create the pattern. Then at the miter saw station, I cut the first two pieces at a 45 degree angle and matched them up on the center line. Once I was happy with those measurements, I applied a liberal amount of glue and tacked in place with the brad nailer. I cut a 45 degree angle on one end and allowed the other to hang over a bit. We will come back and cut this flush later and continue to add glue and tack into place. Once help arrived, we really got moving. It's always fun to have three generations working in the shop on one project. And great to teach the next generation some tips and tricks that hopefully they won't make the same mistakes you might have made as you were learning. We continued the gluing and nailing process until this side of the door was complete. Now we flip the door over and again, using the track saw, lined up the track with the edge of the MDF. We then made sure the tongue and groove was flush around each edge of the door. I really like how easy it is to make these cuts with a track saw. You could do the same thing with a straight edge and a standard circular saw if that's all you have in your shop. I now rip the remaining pieces of MDF to the proper widths to be the rails and styles for the door and the trim pieces for the inset of the door. As you can see, the little extra sliver was a lot of fun for my nephew in the background. I now cut the two strips of MDF we will use for the styles or the left and right vertical pieces. We again spread the glue and tacked into place. I now measured and cut the top, middle, and bottom rail, and we glued and again tacked into place. We now laid out the inset piece for each door per the design of the customer. Then glued and brad nailed these into place as well. And we cut a couple spacers to make sure each trim piece was properly aligned and spaced out. I now ripped each piece of 1x3 poplar to 2 and a quarter inches. I'm using this to trim out the top, bottom, and sides. Then cut the length, glued, and brad nailed these in place. And sometimes you buy your pieces too short and have to make another lumber run and finish by yourself on another day.
Here's the door assembled, then primed and painted, and finally hung in the client's home. I hope this gives you an idea on how to build your own sliding barn door. If you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, comment and share. There are also links below to any products or tools used during this video. <laughs>